Check, check. Hello, hello, hello. It looks What's like good? we have volume. Cool. Yeah. All right, and we are rolling. Welcome, everybody, uh, to the Pelican Jack podcast. I'm Devin Watkins. With me, as always, Alex Ortiz. Browsing the phone webs. Oh, yeah, yeah, work, work stuff. Oh, let me get the, let me get the, uh, the uh, little... He wasn't ready, but I turned things on. I decide when we go. We went. Now he's whoa, ready. Whoa, whoa. He he adjusts and adapts. Whoa. That's a professional, ladies and gentlemen. I just keep things moving. I'll go with the flow. But I like to go against the current sometimes too. Yeah, yeah man. Sometimes you might say, "Hold on, I'm gonna read this text." I'll be like, "Yo, I'm reading a motherfucking text right now." That's what's happening. <laughs> It's already show happening. can't wait five seconds. Shit's live. <clears throat> Fuck it, we'll do it live. Something like that. He said, "Who was that? That was um, Bill O." Yeah, Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> I bet you. I wonder how many times like shit like that happens, where like behind the scenes, the the TV personalities flipping the fuck out. You just don't see it. I wonder how. Maybe not as much nowadays. But I bet you back in like the nineties, it was pretty rampant, huh? Oh yeah. Like those, those diva personalities and shit. Hmm. The nineties were wild anyway. Friends. Jesus. They were freaking Those motherfuckers were making millions. They were the most popular actors in the country and they were on a dumbass TV show. I take my shoes off. Oh, okay. Just Oh, oh, you just gonna take your shoe couldn't wait. Wait. I cleaned them today. They were looking pretty hurt. <clears throat> How'd you clean them? Toothpaste? Just, just with a damp cloth. Mm. Look at this. Now, there are cleaner shoes. Granted. Uh, but I've been wearing these to work. And I've had them for the better part of a year. Next time you buy a new toothbrush. That doesn't look too bad, right? Don't throw away your old one. Yeah, no. I'm, wait, the old I'm waiting one for one to go to shit. And whitening toothpaste. On these sides right here. Oh, yeah. It's abrasive. That's the way it works. And that shit will be... Probably use a magic eraser, too. Possibly, too. That's the old uh, That's the old hood trick for the Jordans. Remember when we used that magic eraser on the, the moving truck? Because we, <laughs> <laughs> we scraped it on some branches or some shit. That shit was funny as fuck. Oh, my God. You never got charged for that, did you? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Man, they just called me today. Something that I had ordered and paid for and like, or no, I guess didn't pay for, but something I had ordered and already received in like late October, mm-hmm. early November, they just called me today. They're like, hey, uh, so I don't know what happened, but I guess it, like when you processed your payment originally when you ordered it, because I ordered it offline, <clears throat> it didn't process the payment uh, right away. And I guess they didn't go through, and she's just now catching up and being like, "Hey, I just want to let you know, get just let you know that we're gonna be processing it." I'm like, what? Well, I bought this like two and a half months ago, and I already had it. So I think they should have just took it as a loss. I bet you they were doing like some New Year uh, like inventory and shit, and catching up on. I bet you they had a bunch of stuff like that. I bet you they had a bunch of stuff like that. Luna. Quit fucking licking. <laughs> God damn. She just licks, 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 licks. <laughs> How did it do? She does it for hours at a time. Just the floor, the couch, a blanket, her paw, anything. She's she got, likes rugs. She got good stamina. She got good stamina. Uh, so, all right, man, what's been going on since the. Uh... Last episode, I'm still feeling like I need to stretch, man. <sighs> I've been working, watching bullshit TV with my wife. Mm. I've been working on this music. Man, let me tell you. I uh I showed you that track earlier. I've been I've been putting hours into that thing. I like, can tell I, I haven't been fucking around. Like if there's anything that I'm gung ho about right now, it's that. And mm. it's been that for a few months now yeah when you played that track for me earlier it actually was like kind of inspiring thought which kind of like was inspiring the conversation we were having outside 
but it's like wanting to get I maybe I just need I need to get rid of this right now. But anyway, it inspired me because I could tell there was effort and time put into it. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like if you put in the hours, you're going to get better mm-hmm. unless you're just fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> If you're stupid, you can do something yeah, for know, a long time and not get any better. There's at least ten percent of the population that's stupid. Yeah, but you, it's a, it's not like all stupid people. There are stupid people who get good at things. I'm talking about stupid people who are just like I'm talking about retards. <laughs> <laughs> there's ten percent of the country doesn't have enough IQ to go and join the army. It's those people. That's a lot of niggas. Cause there's a there's an IQ like minimum. Yeah, ten percent. There's an IQ minimum. That's still a lot. That's a lot of fucking people that can't even do the mili- the military military. The military has no <laughs> use for. <laughs> uh oh, my uh, fucking uh, uh, my, my pro- blood's blue. You fucking ruski. <laughs> <laughs> my programming uh glitched for a sec. <laughs> I want a Russian plant. That shit glitch. <laughs> Mr. Smith. <laughs> uh, but yeah, not not even trying to say it like in a way that like disparaging of these people, but like what I'm saying is like they didn't have a choice. You don't have a choice with like how you're born. So there's but there's 10 percent that the military can't use. But so what are we doing with these 10 percent? I think a lot of these 10 percent are like people that end up homeless or, you know what I'm saying, in jail for, you know, silly stuff on drugs, homeless. I feel like that's a lot of them. Yeah. There's a big mental health crisis worldwide. Mm-hmm. And only certain countries are doing anything semi-not but, retarded about yeah, it. Yeah, but if we know there's 10%, we should have some sort of uh, some sort of plan or system in place for that 10% in the richest country on the planet. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, We've been the I mean, we could do something like about We've it. We've been the sure. richest country for a while. We could have a lot of these things under control. I feel like if it the at the federal level, you gotta get your priorities so straight, though, man. What do you What do you mean? Affordable Tide Pods. Mm. I don't use Tide Pods. <laughs> well, I don't know if I've yeah, yeah you... I've, used, I've used them before. Yeah. Let's I won't say that I've never used say it. He might actually be Russian. What is Tide Pod? Is this an uh, underwater uh, spy uh, submarine? <laughs> 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 I heard about this from Cousin in KGV. That's a good guess. No. <laughs> it fucking cleans your laundry. Oh, speaking of, dude, I mm. cleaned my washing machine. For the first time, so I don't think I've ever cleaned. A and I got machine. it at my last house. I've been here over a year. Mm. It was fucking gunk all built up in it. Ooh. Like I never even thought that, that there's a gasket in there. I wiped that down. It was it was a fucking layer of gunk and dog hair. It's just Yo. like from the time that. You know, you've washed sheets. How with, did you know that you needed to wash it? I didn't on there. know it was because my clothes smelled fucking terrible after I cleaned them. Oh. I was like, why do? Why does it smell like I'm? You know, I was <laughs> sleeping in an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've so never I even cleaned that shit. I've never even heard of anybody. And cleaning. now we're gonna do that like every other month. That makes sense. Or maybe just the every water buildup. Just water buildup will like mold and mildew. Yeah, but like we've definitely washed some nasty shit in there too. Mm. Okay, yeah, that makes I sense. I guess too. where can you expect it to go, really? Yeah, damn. Mm. I didn't know that. I learned something. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. Sometimes you gotta clean shit, even at home. In Russia, we clean in the river. We're about to do our pest control. We do that ourselves now. Mm-hmm. Just bought the chemicals and a little pump. <laughs> yeah man god We're saving damn. all them dollars <laughs> oh man i feel you though i feel you though i'm like a little i'm like a big Tyrion lannister <laughs> i drink and i know things drink and i know things 
<sighs> Jack of all trades. I don't know if I ever want to get that deep. I, I just like get to, real bored with things. I would like to make enough money to where I could just pay somebody to do it. That'd be ideal. That's my dad's philosophy. But I subscribe more to my mother's father's. Mm. My maternal grandfather. For what I'm trying to do, to do all of that would just be too much. It would just be like... Where, I, where my ideal situation is work wise, I'd be like, "What? Do all this?" I'm not saying not do any housework, but there's some things like the pest control. Well, I'll just let somebody take care of that. You know, we were we were doing that, but then we were finding that, "Whoa, we're spending a lot of money for this, and this is something that we could do ourselves really easily for a lot less." True, especially if you don't if you only got a couple specific issues, like maybe ants. You know, it's saying. only like every three months, so four mm. times a year you got to spray, and you probably buy enough chemicals at one time to last you the year at least. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, we still pay for like termite control though. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I killed a bunch of the honeybees, not honeybees, carpenter bees, at uh that were at my house. They never do anything about them, and them bees just be like, they're eating up. Like, she's got wood. Oh, man. Around, like, the entrance, that little awning over the entrance. There's, like, wood around that. Is the awning going to have to come down? No, it's not that serious, but there's just, it just looks bad, and they're all over the place, and they're buzzing. So I got some spray, and I, you just, like, put it in all the uh, ports of entry and just, like, spray all up in there, and then I also got some traps. I think we had those out on the porch at the last mm. house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember so. them boring into those, into that railing. Mm-hmm. I fucking got some spray. Dude, one trap was trapped in there, and it made the loudest, loudest fucking noise. Like, it was like, bzzz. I was like, damn, that motherfucker is going. Like, just for something that small to be making that much, that loud of a noise. I was like, damn, that's crazy. But it was also like, it was kind of, depressing because it was also like a dying animal you know like damn the last throws crazy crazy but speaking of russia iran let's go (laughs) iran speaking of not us (laughs) well it is an indirect link because russia uh, iran is kind of allied with russia sure so it wasn't a giant leap it wasn't a giant leap but are we seeing the beginnings, or I guess that's the framing, with Russia and uh, China being economically allied with Iran, and then us and us and basically Europe? Is this the potentially? I mean, we the beginnings don't really have to worry III? about Russia really being economically tied to too many people because they don't have much money. Well, they yes and no. Putin has money. Yeah, and the oligarchy. Russia has is money. fucking broke. Well, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. They're in the ways that it counts for like uh, minerals and resources where the people at the top are controlling those things. That's where the connections are. Russia's allied with Iran and Syria. And China is is also allied with them, too, because there's a lot of natural resources in that area. And we're kind of being really dickish about everything. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Man, I hate to be on this side of this. At least not with the current world leaders, fucking fuckface and Australia and fuckface and the UK. I guess, yeah. I guess Great Britain or whatever they call themselves now. I, I don't know how that shit works, to be honest. Because so is our wait not the Scottish are still in England because they're still like they're not uh, in England. There's a they're Scottish in the United Kingdom. Or yeah, that's Which what England is a part of, as well as Ireland. But I'm saying they're not. They're not so. Are they not sovereign? Because no, they are still in like they're a, part of the United Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. English Parliament though. It's so, English Parliament. So there are. It? Yeah, they're all underneath like a single rule. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying because they're Scottish. I mean, they uh, probably have their own local things in the like English local country Parliament. government as well. Like mm. you know, we do as states. Ooh, so so you're like Scotland's like a state? 
basically. I would guess. I guess I don't really know. Because it's, it's still like England is still like that guy. Yeah. And you got, they're under. Yeah, they're running shit. Yeah. So I wouldn't even say that's a state. But the other ones I have to say, like they're about to. They've got representation. That's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. They've got representation. So they're not like they're, but they are countries. It's like states. They're countries, but. Yeah, they're, they're not just, full, they're not fully autonomous. It's like if we consider states countries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess it's only it's only uh, just what we're labeling it that's making it seem like it's different. Like, oh, what, what? But yeah, if we just okay, interesting. But yeah, so oh, what I want to talk about what I want to or the what I would like to discuss is or at least just touch upon what I find to be. A naive, extreme hubris of like American foreign policy, and what I mean by that, which like especially this this most recent situation, for us to assassinate another sovereign nation's general and not expect a response. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like that's wild. Like if you really think about it, like. If we if we flip the script, and Iran killed fucking one of our top generals, one of our most popular generals, did you see his funeral procession? There was millions of people from all across. It was huge, like, dude, it went for miles. His funeral procession. So the most popular nigga over here in America, Iran drone strikes him, murders him and the whatever militia forces around him, and they're like. You sh- don't do anything in return. It's not going to be good for you. If Iran said, like, don't do anything in response, it's not going to be good for you. We were like, what? What? There'll be fucking <laughs> missiles going out. But, like, the hu- that's what I'm saying by, like, it's crazy that we would think that they wouldn't do anything in response. And this is sovereign nations, like, we're n- this is not, like, a high school, uh, like, schoolyard, you know? Mm-hmm. You can't just bully other people like that. They still have like their own sovereignty. They have their own national pride. They don't have their own, you know what I'm saying? They have the responsibilities to their people. So I just think I just think that's crazy that or at least I won't say everybody, but at least our current administration. But a lot of a lot of the people that are advising uh Trump in the current administration are people from past administrations too who were involved with like John Bolton and shit like that. But I don't know, it, what do you think? Don't you think that's crazy? Like just our overall like attitude, not as not as just like as far as what we're actually doing, our overall av- attitude, especially in the middle Middle East. It seems wild to me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really up to date on all the all the news, mm-hmm. so I don't, I don't really have much of an informed opinion. But that you. sounds crazy if what you're saying is the case. Then, yeah, they s- we well, just assassinated a dude and then said, "Don't do anything about it." I think they stormed an embassy. That I need to get a little bit more information on. I know there was like some fire on some sites, but they were deliberately inaccurate mm. like some u.s sites they attacked they definitely yeah and that was the thing In they Iraq, Iran maybe. had sent yeah they sent some missiles to milit u.s military installations in iraq but i've never heard anything as far as like an estimated death count or anything just only that they did that in response yeah i, I read i think it was probably earlier today that they were that they were deliberately inaccurate uh they just want to show y'all we out here. We will fuck shit up. And that was the thing. That was the crazy thing about the response, like um, from our Iranian officials. Oh shit! They had came out and said, "Hey, when we mean death to America, they were like, we don't mean death to the American people. We mean we're we are going against the current administration." They even named out Donald Trump, uh, uh, John Bolton, and like Mike Pompeo. Oh no, they said Mike Pence. I think they said Mike Pence, as well. Mike Pence. And they also said that we will not attack, attack uh, American civilians. That's why they specifically targeted 
military uh, installations. And I yeah. guess, like you said, they were deliberately inaccurate as well. So they know it it's not like, us. It seems like they're if you if you took away our own like national perspective because we are in America, if you just looked at it objectively, like they were way more measured and um, like statesmanly in their response than we were just like assassinating their you know saying we're like the evil empire, bro. And then announcing it on Twitter. <laughs> That's still wild. Like. We're the we're like the evil empire in movies, man. We are the evil empire. What was that? Oh, you have you seen Starship Troopers? Uh, I don't think so. That's was supposed to be. That was supposed to be a uh, like uh, it was supposed to represent American Empire. The humans like going out and expanding all over the universe, and then like killing all the native like bugs or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was supposed to represent. They made like seven of them motherfuckers. Did you, ever, you haven't seen any of them? <laughs> no, the first man. one was, it was a solid little flick. I've, I've seen at least... I saw Galaxy Quest like five times. That was good. I think I've seen it two to three like times. Like Alan Rickman was in it? Yeah. Yeah, he was. And uh, who was what the main guy? What are you up to, Potter? <laughs> well, who was the main guy? Uh, what's his name from Home Improvement? Tim Allen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was in that shit, too. He was like one of the, the the top characters in the movie. Yeah, of course he was. He wasn't doing blow at the time. <laughs> but I did like that movie. It was a solid little flick. You know a movie I like, too? It was Bulletproof. Bulletproof. With Damon Wayans and Adam Damon Sandler. Wayans. Wow. Wow. Bulletproof. He got shot in the head, but survived. Oh. I know the plot line. I'm trying to think about how I feel about you bringing it up right then. Like, <laughs> damn. I heard Uncut Gems is what, good, too. What an interesting film to select. Bullet. <laughs> Bullet. <laughs> Entertaining movie. You know what I'm saying? Not every movie yeah, is created. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, every but... movie is not created to like win an Oscar. Some are just created to be some entertainment. And it was entertaining. I was entertained. It was worth a watch. It was worth a watch. I was properly entertained for what an hour and twenty three minutes. Properly entertained. What are you doing with your dog over there? He just being that good boy. Cute little Pippin. He's out of control. That's what he is. He's an out of control monster, rampaging the streets. Giving them the mouth kisses. Terrorizing the townsfolk. That's how I don't get sick. I'm rolling my kids in the dirt. You be rolling in the dirt? Chewing gum we find on benches. Mm. Nice. Your your dogs do have a special affinity for... Reusing needles? Anything. <laughs> <laughs> they have a special affinity to just like try to consume anything and survive it pretty normally. Just have some weird poop. Yep. <laughs> They'll eat anything and everything. And then stare at you psychotically. And then puke. <clears throat> and then eat that puke. Oof. And puke again. And then eat that puke. You know what? Ohio State lost. No shit. And I don't know what happened after that. Did they even play the national championship yet? I have no idea. You have man. no idea. I didn't even know Ohio <laughs> State. I didn't even know Ohio State played and lost. Yeah, well, they were in the final. Did four. I let you win? They were in the final four. Who they? Yeah, but I don't know who. Did they play the championship? Yeah, already? you gotta look that shit up, man. I got my my phone's the camera. Like, send us dollars, send us dollars, send us dollars. Come work with us, do do do. I also need a producer. Producer music. Yeah. Mm. I give you a percentage. Oh, January thirteenth, Monday. LSU versus Clemson. LSU and Clemson. Wow. LSU versus Clemson. Then that's a pretty big little gap. Almost almost two weeks since the uh Oh uh, Michigan fell apart finals. against Alabama. They're in the bowl game? Yeah, they were doing all right oh. there for a minute and then just late second half, they just started falling apart. 
like they do. I think I think I think that's more of like there's just so much overwhelming talent at Alabama. Yeah, Michigan just I mean, got they just down. kept winning, kept winning, kept winning. So they're getting all the recruits. Yeah, yeah. So like they've got their second and third string people are at least athletically like still dominating like other people's first string. Yeah. So you need if you need your first string to play the whole game, Alabama's got like just first string the whole game, not getting tired basically with the way they can sub out. So that's probably what that was. More than anything, more than necessarily Alabama being a better coach. Yeah, check, check, check that score because I remember Nick Saban being pretty pissed at halftime because <laughs> they, I think they were losing. Oh, 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 oh. I think it ended up being a blowout. If I remember correctly, thirty-five to sixteen. Yeah. Michigan got four losses, bro, this year. They didn't play Ohio State four times. That's true. <laughs> That's true. So. They played Ohio State, Alabama. Who else did they play? So, yeah. Probably Wisconsin. Wisconsin, yeah. I think they beat Michigan State this year. Michigan, I don't... I don't well, that's usually who it is. I don't they understand. Beat I don't understand that program. Like, I... I'm a Ohio State fan, obviously, but I still expect a certain tier from Michigan, and they just haven't been living up to it. Yeah, and not even saying that in like a it's hater been way. Sad. Like, yeah, like for a Michigan fan, you're just like, what the fuck? It's like, come on, man! I got this. I got the Lions. I got the Tigers. I got the Red Wings. I got the Pistons. Give me fucking something. But Michigan, like historically, like you know, neck and neck with Ohio State. Like as far as being up there, but maybe they're just—it's just their downtrend. Maybe the next couple years, they'll finally start getting back up again. Yeah, we'll see. I don't think a coaching change is going to be the difference, though. Harbaugh, if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Harbaugh. Potentially, that's what they kept saying about Rick for a while. I'm not, not saying they've done it without Rick, but I had been saying for years before Rick was gone that, "Yo, get rid of him. He's been here for like over a dec- for like a decade already." And proving that he he can't win. They're like, well, who else are you going to get there? He's got this winning record. I'm like, anybody. Because he's proven time and time and again, even with the best, like, when he had Stafford, Moreno, and A.J. Green, like, you don't win your national chair. They had, like, a bunch of fucking first-round defensive draft picks, too, and you don't win it then. Anybody could be a better chance to win it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Why not try something new after you've been there for so long? Yeah, save some money. Mm-hmm. It's almost like Georgia sports, though, because really the same thing is happening now with whatever Buddy's name is that's there. Kirby Smart? Yeah, it's the same thing. Them having national championship squad talent, but then losing in ways they shouldn't be losing. Yeah, it's hilarious. Every Falcons fucking do the same time, shit, too. They just fall apart when it's all on the line. Exactly. When it's all on the line. Like Lions do that shit, too. Here's a fun stat. Lions versus Packers. The Packers led the Lions for zero seconds this season. In mm. two games, because they're in the same division. They won both games. Who did? The, the Packers, Packers did. <laughs> they led for zero seconds, won both games. And at the end, like a little f- field goal or something. Wow. <laughs> That's the most Lions shit ever. Oh, man. Is Stafford still there? Yep. Is he still getting injured every year? Or they still have a good enough squad now? Oh, he gets injured, but he still plays. Mm-hmm. Now, Stafford's the shit. Uh, they so have what is the Lions' problem then? The, they have the pencil guy from the Patriots. <laughs> Quinn, is that his name? Uh, the offensive coordinator, I think he was. I can't think of his name off the top of my head. I don't know. I think I know who you're talking about. But like they switched their coaching up because I guess winning seasons weren't enough for the Lions after mm-hmm. being shit for decades. They want that champion. They want that chip, bro. They want them chips with the dip. They want them chips with their dip, Pip. They need the chip to dip the dip. But I guess as a franchise, the winning record would be good. Is is solid. Like, okay, we can work with this. I feel like the winning record is like, we just need some pieces, right? 
We've already got it basically down. We just need a couple different pieces to change, maybe in the uh, the roster. I've never known the Lions, or not never, but not recently known the Lions to have all that style of a defense. Is the defense an issue for them? The defense is pretty straight. They have some pretty good defensive players. I mean, for a while they had an Dominican Sue. Mm. He's dominant. But I, I, I just, but I'm saying Slay. defense as a whole, like their whole defense was good, or because they, I've always, I've known Kinsu and Kinsu would make plays, but it wasn't, you know, what I'm saying it wasn't like the whole defense just being shut out. It wasn't like a classic, like Ravens defense or Steelers defense or something like that. Yeah, they weren't, they weren't like a super solid. Shoot, even the Patriots, the Patriots, people be sleeping on their defense. They've had some good. The Patriots defense. are trash. That's why they are out of the playoffs. True. Well, I wouldn't say trash, but not a trash. They played nobody for the first half of the season. That's why they had so many wins. They played NFL teams, nigga. Yeah, but come on, <laughs> the Cincinnati Bengals, the Detroit Lions, the Cleveland Browns. Those were all NFL teams, but. Are they really? I will say. Are they really? I will say they've gone their cheap route. I feel like they've maxed out what they could get going the cheap route. As far as like, remember in the beginning of Brady's career, he had a lot of good players around too. Oh, and, yeah. And as his career went on. Yeah, the Patriots don't have an offense right now. That's their biggest well, issue. Well, that's what I'm saying. They did, they've been doing that kind of like money ball type game where, you know, you know, assessing value per age and stuff. Yeah. Which is good. But I feel like, okay, so Tom Brady is now. So he was he was peeking through. They were doing that, so they were able to consistently win. So as the roster got like less overall, maybe talent wise, Brady was so good it compensated. But now he's he's towards the end of his career, so he's his skill, maybe strength, endurance, or whatever. It's not enough to cover the difference. He's still an elite quarterback, but it's not enough to cover that difference of them going so cheap. Right. Yeah, because they have Julian Edelman, and then who else? Mm-hmm. Nobody, and they're double covering him. So, so they're gonna have to start getting some big names. But they they did try to with Antonio Brown. Then he had that scandal come out, and they had to let him go. Yeah, all the scandals. So he just every re- scandal that there was, he, just he released had his track the other day. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> is it good? Is that shit fire? Tell me, it's not fire. It's not fire. It's definitely not fire. But I only listened to like a ten second clip. 10, 15 second clip, but I was like, it's okay. It, he's got money, so it's got good production value. So it sounds okay. You know what I'm saying? If you heard it in a mixtape, it'd be all right. You'd be like, who's that? Oh, oh, Antonio Brown. Oh, okay. That was all right. Okay. From just from that time, I haven't heard the whole song, so maybe I only heard like an okay part of the hook. Maybe the verses are trash. I have to listen to that now. Now I'm curious. I I hadn't thought about it. I saw it on like on like Snapchat or something for a second. But now that I think about it, I'm gonna listen to the whole thing. <clears throat> but damn, he's out of he he's out of the game, huh? He's fucking rapping. <laughs> he's out of fucking NFL. He's really done. Yeah. He was what, on Twitter recently? What happened? I don't even know what really happened. Well, he started. He okay. So you, you go back. So he had beef with. Um, Ben Roethlisberger, but I feel like at the the time when he had beef with Ben Roethlisberger, when it was wasn't that? In, in Pittsburgh. How do you how do you have beef with him? Uh, it's basically Ben Roethlisberger, and Ben Roethlisberger does have a history of doing this to players, but he does a lot of radio interviews and he'll throw other teammates under the bus, even though he's supposed to be like the leader, the quarterback. Uh, yeah. You know, what I'm saying Old he's, Ben he's, Yeah, he's known for going on these radio shows and throwing teammates under the bus, and he said some negative things about uh, AB, and AB was just like, "What do you?" It was like just throwing him under the bus for no reason, putting shit on him. And so that just kind of started the whole animosity thing, and then it just grew bigger and bigger between them. Because then I think AB tweeted something, so then it goes, then it gets like more public, and then it it just it became unworkable. So then he left. Then he went to the Raiders, <clears throat> and he didn't want to wear the helmet, right? He didn't want to wear the helmet. So then the Raiders dropped him. Then the Patriots picked him up, and then all of a sudden those uh rape or whatever allegations started coming out. So then the Patriots had to drop them because they didn't want to have to deal with that. 
And maybe there are some other things too. Who knows? But I remember him recently. He was on Twitter trying to like suck up and apologize to Robert Kraft. Basically trying to work. Like he talked a bunch of shit when he left, but then now he's like trying to come back. He's like, don't worry, you don't let me play in the NFL. How sad. Yeah. Yeah. So. How did we even? How did I even get? I guess we were just talking about football, huh? How did we even get onto that topic? Something like that. Damn, but I can watch some sports again now that I got TV. Yeah, we got the stations. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfucking live TV with DVR. I, I've never. I can watch the full witnessed. UFC events now because I have YouTube ESPN TV? Plus, and yeah, YouTube TV gives me ESPN, mm. and then I have you. ESPN Plus. Oh, oh yeah, you got the package. It's it's just ESPN Plus. I got it before like Disney Plus, Hulu, and all of that was a thing. You should cancel that and then resubscribe as the package. I I paid for a year. Oh, you paid for a whole year? Yeah, it's probably up pretty soon. I'll just get the thing when I renew. But like we have access to um, what is it? The Disney app. Yeah. And, and Hulu, Hulu with ads. Yeah. Ooh. Is there a version you can just pay a couple dollars more for I don't without think ads? So. Oh, it's the bundle trap, huh? Yeah, the bundle trap. I've got I've got We'll Hulu give you the bullshit ads. so we can give it to you at a good price. Uh, they should have like an add on. It'd be smart if they did an add on like and then for seven dollars more you can get Hulu without ads. Yeah. Or five. I don't know what the pay scale is. Five seven might be a lot for what it's already charging. Yeah. Five sounds good. Every month. God damn. What, that'd be 60 bucks a year? Extra at $5? Just to not watch advertisements? Fuck ads, dude. I'll pay. Nigga, I'll pay. I'll pay. I was telling you earlier, I'd rather pay somebody to do certain things. I don't want to watch a fucking ad. When I'm watching something, I want to watch that show, and that's it. My dad would have me set his Timex watch for him when I saw him. Why? Because he just, he never learned to do it himself. Really? So when the time changed, he would have me change it for him. <laughs> That's crazy. He'd always pay for oil changes and all that kind of stuff. It's like so, I pay for most of my oil changes. Some things are so easy to do that it's just worth doing. I'd rather not. And it's good to know in case the shit goes down. I know how to change oil. I just don't do it. That's fine, as long as you know how. <laughs> I don't want to do it. You've assessed your options. You've weighed the time versus, mm-hmm. you know, and you've decided that paying Because I do, do things while my oil's getting done. One, I go to Toyota to get it done. They do it pretty quickly. There's a nice little waiting area with internet and Chick-fil-A. Mm. And I usually either I'm reading something or I've got my computer... I actually do something positive, or I'm like uh, budgeting, like some ex- some business, some ex- not business, but like just okay. I need to go to the doctor, and I need to do <laughs> you know shit like that. Doing something productive during that time that I probably wouldn't normally otherwise do. So, I had a three year plan with Volkswagen, but that has since been up. Dang, it has been three years. Twenty twenty two, motherfucker, two more years, and I own that bitch. Dang. I still got a while left on mine. Still got like two years is still a while. Five and a half. Oh yeah, that's I think mine was seven. Mine was too. Where's the time going, man? Still there for me. <laughs> still got a lot of time there. It's twenty twenty already. Oh, as far as the year, yeah. That's what I'm saying. We got to do something this year for sure. Oh, I'm doing a few things. Hmm. It's coming down the pipeline, man. I'm feeling productive. Like, I'm feeling like I could just pump some shit out. I'm making up for lost time, really. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like as well. I'm going to piss my pants. I'll be right back. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, so uh, fat tires are getting them. It really doesn't take too many. But yeah, I've got uh, got some things coming down the pipeline. Um, Just finalizing some some of the business aspects uh, as far as 
marketing on streaming platforms and distribution and stuff like that. I need to get a band. But uh, I'm working on getting the music all straightened out. I've got quite a bit of material. And I'm working on more as we go. So uh, I shouldn't be too much longer. And I'm planning on releasing a little bit pretty frequently. So we'll see how that goes. I'll adjust as I need to. And we'll just figure this thing as we go along. Which is what I've been doing the whole time. So something I enjoy. Something I think is worth doing. So I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah, because uh, I just don't know if I can work till I'm old, you know what I mean? Like, that can't be the only thing I'm doing. Oh my god, dude, I was holding that for about 20 minutes. That yeah. was a lot of fucking liquid. I had a, I had a pretty good uh, monologue there. I was running out of things to say. <laughs> oh my, it was a lot of liquid. I was like, oh my god, this is taking a good little bit here. At least, at least it was almost double normal. I'm normally a quick pisser. We got a lot of small bladders in the family. <laughs> We're a bunch of quick pissers. You don't want to go on a road trip with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, if you're not in a hurry, you want to go because you're going to get plenty of breaks with us. You get plenty of breaks to stop. Yeah. Stretch. Turn a 10 hour trip into a 14 hour. That's a road trip, baby. Fuck get that, dude. Snack. I want to get there and then I can relax. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep going like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> and I'm gonna crash hard oh. for a night, and then I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go hard to all the rest of it. Oh, dude, I peed so much that I still feel. You know that like that relief feeling like when you take a shit or piss. Oh yeah, but yeah. But when yeah. it lingers, like you really had to go. Like when you take a really good shit, and you're like for uh, the next feels... 15 minutes, you're like. Fuck, that was a really good shit. Yeah, yeah. I it almost so... feels like you still have to go. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Like your body's chasing that feeling. Of, God, it felt so good. So I'm still kind of feeling about that piss. I still feel like that pleasurable release feeling. Like, oh my gosh, that was amazing. Hey. Where's Rob at? He's hanging out in NYC, man. I think he's in Manhattan. Nah, nah, he ain't in Manhattan. He's in Brooklyn. We should go up to New York and do a Pelican Jack episode. That'd be cool, but I don't know if I've got New York time and dollars right now. We don't have to to do these things for long. Family. I think you need to start flying. Yeah, I mean we we get uh, we get points with our Amex card for. Mm travel miles and stuff so we get I got, i've got a sky miles uh mx right now too that i, I just got it on my last trip yeah they're trying to charge me 30 bucks to check my bag in because i had a big suitcase my dad just got me a little samson uh-huh. for christmas pack that shit so i needed to check it in and they're gonna try to charge me 30 bucks each way like you can sign up for this sky miles and sky miles credit card i was like well I would like to build up some Sky Miles anyway. And with what I'm planning to do with, you know, comedy and stuff, eventually I will need to travel. Yeah, that Amex, dude, you get miles for everything you buy. So just buy everything with that and then pay it off every month. But then if you actually buy, like, plane tickets with it, too, I think you get even more miles off of it. I think. I might have just made that up. (laughs) Sounds good. But, yeah, I figured, well, I might as well sign up for... You might as well if you're gonna if you're planning on traveling more often anyway, you might as well pick a company and just get rewards from that company. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you're sporadically like maybe once a year, once every two years you fly, then it doesn't matter. But if you're planning on flying regularly, you might as well like pick an airline and get on their rewards program. Should I be doing that with like QT? Or racetrack? Gas? Yeah, so we have three cards that we use um like the amex is a catch-all that's Mm. for everything that the other two don't cover and like the rewards change every three months on the one so right now we have a discover card that uh, we use for groceries and then we have a bank of america card that we use for like uh i don't know online purchases or something like that costco and then the amex is everything else Mm. and we get different rewards some are cash back, some are 
miles. But we make sure that we always plan it out. To like, if you're getting this or you're shopping at this place, use this card. Mm-hmm. Maximize our rewards. Get the most of out, out of our That's money. The, you just... You just don't get any less white, do you? <laughs> I didn't even come up with that. My <laughs> half Asian wife did. Uh, she's got a strong white side. <laughs> but no, that sounds pretty Asian too. She saves us money. Yeah, very true. Very true. We're richer than we are. And women are good at stuff like that. Not saying like, but like they're good at like the detail stuff like that. Like I'll be like, ah, we'll just get one and do it all. She's like, no, we do this and do this and do this when we get more than this. It makes sense. I would just never normally put that much effort into it. Yeah. But with the effort being put in, I'm like, oh, pretty good idea. She got six handles of alcohol for how much? How much do you think? $37.25. Mm -hmm. $37.25 for six handles of alcohol. I don't know what kind of deals you guys are getting. (laughs) And you didn't specify what type of alcohol it was. We got... Bacardi rum, we got a spiced rum, we got American vodka, we got Canadian whiskey, we got blended uh, scotch, and we got a tequila. $127.36. That's not a bad guess. Uh, I don't really remember the exact amount. It's like 118 or something like that. Ooh. You know, my brother, he said he was getting heavy, and I... Uh, Costco. He was like, guess how much I weigh? I was like, what, 220? He was like, damn, 218. I was like, damn. So my guessing is getting pretty good here. I finally acquired enough life experience to properly guess. Now, my first guess was way off. Yeah. And you still never went through brands but on But my guess either. on that was in the 300s. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you said seven handles, and, but you didn't say all the brands, so that made it more difficult, too. Yeah, I think only the Bacardi was name brand. Mm-hmm. So that's why I was kind of assuming. The rest was Kirkland, which is still good. But the see, Canadian whiskey just, tastes just like Crown. I would never buy that much liquor at one time, especially the way I, I don't I mean, really We were trying to stock our liquor. cabinet mm-hmm. so that like we don't have to make bulk purchases anymore. We just replace yeah. what needs to be replaced. Mm. And we have enough to make different drinks. But we still have a lot of shit to get. She still needs gin. We need vermouth. We need all the mixers. Dude, vermouth is disgusting. Schnapps. Don't get vermouth. Anything we made, we made a, what is it? A, a, a Negron? Negroni? A Negroni? That shit was disgusting. Oh, yeah? I don't know if we just didn't know what the fuck we were doing or what, but it was disgusting. I don't know. And it was know, with man. vermouth, and the vermouth itself was gross. We had some, uh, on my manager's recommendation, we had some Four Roses whiskey. We mm-hmm. got the small batch. That stuff slaps. Ooh. That was that was good whiskey. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not like a huge whiskey guy. I prefer rum, but this whiskey. You're the only person I know who says they prefer rum. It's, it's, fucking that, pirate. it's that pirate blood, man. <laughs> God damn. You're the only one I know who prefers rum. I don't think I ever hear that about You know they had uh, those gold earrings to pay for their funeral in a foreign land? Really? Yeah, if that's all they had, like they just had gold on their body to pay Mm. for their funeral. Damn. So they were that concerned with getting buried, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Stuff was important to them. They didn't have too many things to worry about. They didn't have like Twitter profiles or anything, so. Mm. They put me in an actual burial spot. Damn, how many times would people just take the gold and say, fuck it? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know Especially who really cared then. about pirates. What kind back of code then, they had yeah, going on? Yeah, and back then, who it's found like, them? who was doing the burying? Like, they For just... the Brits, they are like, yeah, fuck this pirate. Let's mm-hmm. we'll throw him overboard and keep the gold. Yeah. Oof. What a Take his teeth, dude. Most, if you really think about it, most of humanity has been, compared to now, you're like, oof, that's a rough way to live. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A, a lot even of people like, killing each other. Even like a hundred years ago, we would look at it now and be like, "Oof, oh yeah, no AC, ah. <laughs> ooh, no segregated, yeah, <laughs> like, ooh, that's a rough way to live." Lynching, but even even if you were white, 
it's still a rough way to live. Like just oh you know, yeah, like poor with whites the, with the modern amenities that we have today. Like oof. like people are happy to have a ceiling fan. Yeah, you were like fucking rich. You had a ceiling fan. You were fancy. Remember when wall to wall carpeting was a thing in the seventies? <laughs> you could have wall to wall carpeting. What? You were rich. Now, now it like reverted backwards. Like it's, people want hardwoods. Hell yeah. But back in give the, the sixties, give me the laminate, give me the vinyl, give me the tile. Wall to wall carpeting was like a buzzword selling point. Yeah. Yes. No, we don't. We've got some. We got some laminate for or some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some. In oh, the kitchen, that hallway. Floor, some vinyl. Is that uh, that other spare bedroom bathrooms. got it? The bedrooms got carpet. All the all the bedrooms in the main areas have carpet, except for the kitchen and the bathrooms. Okay. All right. All right. What do we what's, what do we got here? What do we got on time, man? We're doing. Oh, we're doing real good on time. All right, fifty minutes. Mm, yeah, we got kind of boring there talking about floor flooring. Well, <laughs> this is a sign we should start wrapping this up. I think so. I think so. Thanks for joining us again. We need to figure out a way, a scheduled like how we end it, and how we start it. Maybe yeah, we'll get more we segments it. when we get some <laughs> audience interaction and shit. But at like least that. like how we say the ending for oh, it yeah. to be more smooth, because it's always like kind of all right. So yeah, here uh, we go. All right. Well, see ya, fuckers. <laughs> peace, bitches. They had a peace sign like a fucking sixteen-year-old Asian kid. <laughs> oh fuck! Ugh. What up, Gim Gim? <laughs>